Hello everyone, my name is Mark. I'm a coach here at Twin Flame Reconnection. And if you're wondering, hey, where is Patricia? Uh, she introduced me as a coach in her last couple of videos that were posted. I'll try to remember to put the card or link up here if you want to check those out. Uh, we go over obstacles for men as well as how men deal with uh, depression and stuff as well if you're on the Ascension journey. Uh, but today what I would like to talk about is everyone's absolutely most favorite transit of, of all, uh, Mercury retrograde. So, but more specifically, how does Mercury retrograde affect men or those who are male identifying or, you know, have that masculine energy? So Mercury retrograde, as of course we all know, is that time where everything seems to go wrong or there's some aspect of maybe not just something going wrong, but something that needs to be reworked, something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be looked at again. All those little things that kind of can really be, I guess in one word, frustrating. Um, so in terms of how it affects men directly is, again, that word frustrating. Um, it can be quite frustrating as a lot of men, you know, we're taught, you know, you got to have control of your life. You got to have everything in place. Everything's got to do this and that. And especially when you're the one that has to handle things when all of this stuff goes wrong. If you're in charge, if you're trying to deal with all this stuff and things are going wrong, and it's a huge burden on you to try to get through all of this. But one thing to remember, though, is that with a Mercury retrograde and any retrograde in general, when these planets go retrograde, is that energy is slowing down and moving over old ground. So what it is, it's, it's you're relooking at things, you're reworking things. And this is ultimately for your own benefit, for the benefit of your life, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not necessarily a bad thing to have to do that. But when we're in a world and where we're taught that it's always go, 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 you have to keep pushing forward. You have to, you know, make deadlines, do all these kinds of things. You got to fix this, do that, do this. It can be very stressful and very overwhelming. Now, one thing that um, doing the, the light body work, this connecting to your you know 5d connections your higher self can really help you in connecting higher and it can help you to really kind of see things for what they truly are and also see things kind of before they come so what this can do is this can give you maybe like an intuitive hit like let's say it's mercury retrograde coming up i know i had a job i used to work at before this was around like times of you know you're dealing with everyone being sick through you know covid and everything and you get kind of little inklings of like, okay, this Mercury retrograde, you're, this person is likely to be sick again, or this whatever. You get kind of like these little hits that you can kind of plan for before time. Be like, okay, so if this were to happen, let's kind of take care of this now, kind of schedule this out now, do some, you know, damage control now so that when this stuff does happen, it's not going to have an effect, right? And then there's also Mercury retrogrades where... I've had a lot of stuff go wrong, a lot of stuff needed fixing, a lot of stuff, you know, just seemed to just really not be working out is really hard and heavy. But throughout that, what I learned through that in seeing the bigger picture is that if that stuff hadn't happened at that point, I would have been, you know, screwed later on, right? So a lot of times it's not just, you know, everything's acting against you. Sometimes it's your higher self, it's your, you know, it's the team, right? They're actually using these energies to really help you to relook at, relook at these things, to make you take action on certain things that you need to kind of look at now. Otherwise, that would be a hindrance towards you in the future as well. And when you're building up these connections and you're working with your light body, like I said, you kind of get the the more intuitive sense of like what this is really for. You're kind of like, okay, this went wrong. This was kind of frustrating, but oh, I kind of see it now. I get it. So it helps you to be less angry, less mad, and less frustrated. And also these, these energies can really help us to, you know, go with the flow a bit more. Find that balance within you between that divine masculine and divine feminine energy as well and not be so stuck on, yeah, you need to go, you need to do this, you need to do that. And it helps to rid ourselves of, you know, those old, those old patterns. You could consider it, I don't know, maybe toxic masculinity in a sense, but those old paradigm patterns, they really need to leave us in order to, you know, be more in tune, be more in touch, be more in flow with what these energies are doing and how they're actually trying to help us instead of feeling that it's hindering us. 
So if you're looking for any kind of coaching, any guidance or anything, um, you can book a coaching session with me. Uh, the links are in the description below. Uh, there's also, there's some groups down there as well. There's Men in Ascension, as well as a group for gay twin flames and gay men as well. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check those out in the description. And of course, um, have a great week, everyone. I know it is Mercury retrograde, so just remember anything that is happening now is really for the better and not necessarily for the worst. And, you know, get some coaching, help us to, you know, we can guide you through it, uh, connect with your light body, do that kind of work to uh, really, you know, be better suited through through these energies. Anyways, thank you guys. Take care. Have a great week. Um, if you did like this video, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications if you want more. Uh, leave a comment, you know, down below what, what you think of this. If you want to see uh, more topics on men or any kind of other feedback that you want to see here, let us know. And thank you. Uh, happy holidays and whatever you celebrate, and have a great week. Bye.